Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to the scrapbooking process video. I am at a virtual class with Redefined Creative, Christina, and so I am following instructions right now. Uh, these tickets here, they she's having us cut certain parts off to you so we can save other tickets for other layouts. So I am cutting everything you see me cut to start with is from the class and then I kind of take over and just add to it because you all know I like more and I just need a, a few more things on here. I use my um, hole punch, the one that's an office size one quarter inch to do the little circle, half circle things where you cut out on the tickets and they would be a little bit smoother. Sometimes that works, sometimes it don't. Sometimes they're a lot bigger, other times they're a lot smaller. And occasionally my 1 8 inch one works. Here I am cutting out just a very small piece of a grid that's on here. And it's not very big at all, but it will be one of the layers on this layout. I believe what Christina probably does for these Palooza kits is to pull things together to make a layout and then she takes whatever's left over from that layout to create other things and yeah you, you you use pretty much everything that is in that kit and yeah little pieces here and there and oh and here this uh fern branch it was in the kit and it's plastic and I couldn't get it to lay down well enough to make it look like a fern. And so I decided to reach into my scraps and pull out this where I'd cut out the pink fresh curvy branch and use it for my stencil instead. And so instead of inking around the outside edges, mine is going to be making the actual branch with my stencil here. I do have a fern die and I thought about getting it out and die cutting it out and using the negative part of it or the fern branch but this was really handy. It was right there next to me and with the rest of the scraps. So it worked out pretty good and the ink that I used on the blue stripe paper and for the stencil part is forest moss and I will be using it to ink several other things on here and most of the things I'll be doing Christina tells me to do and then some of the others I just do on my own I think oh I think I'll like that and I go ahead and try it because she says that you don't have to do everything you can get creative and do your own thing so sometimes that's what I'm doing however this was months ago and I can't remember what all she said to do and what all I did it seems like I never have time to do the voiceovers on the videos I record from the Palooza classes. Well, and from your, she has the stash, scrap your stash ones too, where you pull stuff out of your stash and she does it. But I'll end up deleting them because it'll say I don't have enough memory or room or whatever to do my video. And so I will make the hard choice of deleting one. But I do like the classes. I have a lot of fun trying to keep up with Christina. And I have fun, to, you know, that anticipation of what we're going to do next and what we're going to cut out from a whole 12 by 12 sheet of paper to use like that little tiny piece and what the rest of the paper is going to be for the next layout. And, you know, at this point, I'm not even sure what photo I'm going to be using. I have a box of them sitting right in front of me. And so I just go through there and look and see what I have. I very rarely printed something. I just use something I've already got printed. There's some really cute little odds and ends on some of these papers. And that one that looks like a map <laughs> is supposed to be a map, I'm sure, because it says road trip on it. But it looks like it's a folded out map. And then there's those tickets that are just barely there, but you can't tell it by tucking them. 
I love putting stuff on foam tape. So some of the stuff that I am putting on foam tape, she didn't necessarily put on foam tape. But, you know, I have to have the three ring binders instead of the po post bound because of all the dimension I like to add to a layout. Uh, as I said, I'm trying to ink everything in that uh, forest moss, but I think I failed a few times. I uh, am distressing some of it too. Oh, and here I decide which photo. I might as well tell you about the photo since it's here. It's my two oldest grandsons and we were at the park when they were younger and they have all kinds of stuff at that park. And they look like they were just really enjoying themselves and relaxing and talking. And I, I really want to capture that moment. And I took a couple pictures because as it is, y'all might see a picture maybe three times on layout, one for me. <laughs> One for each of them in their scrapbooks or one for their mom. So it might even be four. But um, sometimes I'll take extra of one thing. So the photos will be a little bit different in each layout. And other times I have to reprint to go ahead and use them. Because I know there's plenty that they like to have in their own. And when I first started making albums. First I made little gift albums like six by six, eight by eight, or even bag albums, you know, different kinds that are smaller and do maybe a whole day for the kids. But then I started making them 12 by 12 albums and I had this bright idea, do a like manufacturing sort of thing, buy extra sheets of whatever or extra stickers or cut out extra die cuts and make them all the same. I think I did maybe two, three pages that way. I thought, this is no fun. I want scrapbooking to be fun. So I spread them out and just do whatever is in my mood that time. And they all end up different, but with the same photo. Or a pretty similar photo one. I am using my Stampin' Up! punch there, the leaf punch. And I inked them, and then I'm folding up the leaves and... Uh, so I have a little bit more dimension and tucking them him, here and there. And then I'm going to decide that's just not quite enough. So I will be pulling out some of that, uh, well, it's ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And they have three kinds. They have taupe, moss, and I can't remember what the other one's called, but it looks like it has snow on it. And this one here that I used to, on this layout is called moss. And they are seasonal, so moss would be more summery, maybe a little bit spring. And then the taupe, fall, and of course the other one would be winter. And I use my perfect <laughs> uh, Spellbinders die set for the title. And I thought hitting the road, since I do have a map and everything else. And that's what made me think of this photo and pull it out of my little box. But uh, yeah, they're not going nowhere. They might be talking about going somewhere, but they're not going anywhere. They're just relaxing and having fun and enjoying their day. There is a McDonald's right next door. And when they built it, uh, Casey, the one on the right's dad, works for McDonald's. And he's like a district manager. And he said that it would cost like a million dollars more at that time. And this was a long while back to do the little Playland thing that they have. So they thought, well, there's a park right next door. We're just going to skip that part on this one. So they did not make one for it. And so we would pick up, well, I'd go through the drive through most of the time. Sometimes if they weren't very hungry, well, they'd play a while and then we'd just walk right next door. But we'd have a picnic and spend a while there. And of course, I would take my camera and take pictures. There's the ribbon I was talking about. I just love that stuff. But like I said, it is seasonal. So like first time I tried to get it, I didn't get it. <laughs> Second time, nope. I looked several times before I found it on the Hobby Lobby online. My local one did not have any. And yeah, I figured out it was seasonal because I believe I got the moss one first. And then I got online and seen the taupe one and so on. So I figured out it's seasonal. The little go sign there with the arrow, 
a ticket. It is a ticket. I'm using it as a sign, but it is a ticket. I believe it was in a collection, Maggie Holmes at one time. It's like a whole sheet of tickets. And I fussy cut them out and put them in my ticket container. And I had one first that was green out to put on here. And it's a light green, so it was a little harder to see. And while I was digging in there looking for anything else I happened to want, I seen this one. I thought, oh, that one's perfect. It shows up really good. And it has a more bold statement. So I put it on there with a little banner so it wouldn't be just by itself. And then some of the ribbon and, of course, a little bit of the greenery. Well, looking at the layout and what's on the screen, I realized some of my video must not got recorded or I lost footage because I've added things that are not in the video. So I went back and took all the pictures again just now and the pictures will be a little bit different from what the finished layout is. Yeah, I added more. But right now I'm adding some enamel dots, three different shades of blue, and think that's done. <laughs> but no, no, there is a little bit more, and you will see it in the layout photos, the close-ups. As you can see, I added two, well, I think I'll do it on the individual ones, because it'd be kind of hard to point some of the stuff out otherwise. So, this one... I didn't add anything. I can look at it and say, I didn't add anything. I see nothing there that got added after the video quit. But, uh, oh, these splatters, they are on there, yes. And I added Whiteley Park Fun. I could have wrote it in because it says um, location there. And I thought about it, but I decided it'd be fun to add the little squares. And I put adventure, and then with the same little tile things, I put N laughter and there's a close-up of the exploring but up there above that you will see love this and i think that's it i think that's my more oh no i, I put a tab up at the top that says together so yeah there are a few things added but that's it that's my layout i had so much fun at the class and again i want to thank thank whoever gifted me that I really enjoy it. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video, and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you for the comments that you leave. They make my day and make me happy. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I appreciate you watching. Have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.